Hello, here we are live, Everyday Leaders. This is Melanie Ake, and today is, I don't know what day is it? Is it Thursday? <laughs> it's May um, 7th, I think, something like that. <laughs> oh, this pandemic has gotten me really crazy. It, um, so, hello, Everyday Leaders. It, it really is Thursday, May the 7th. And, you know, like every other day, I'm trying to add value to the group. And I am bringing you someone today that's going to add significant value to you and make you stretch. And she's got a lot of great stuff to talk about because she is also a co-author from the collaboration book, Mentoring Moments, Woo! Woo! that yeah. we uh, we were a part of last year. So, Sonal Sheth Zawari, I'm so excited that you are joining me. Your company is True You. I'm going to post this right here across for people that are watching YouTube or they're watching the closed caption. Um, you have started a business about three years ago mm -hmm. and we did not connect until this last year when we were part of the mentoring moments book with Danola Burton. We love you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and this was a journey for 14 women and it was called breakthroughs through the break breakthroughs to success. And so we all shared these stories, our amazing life stories about how we were overcoming obstacles and what we were doing in our businesses and our lives to really celebrate each other and these journeys, these difficult journeys that we've had. And, and so your whole chapter is all about stretching, making sure that we're stretching ourselves and, yeah. and you challenge people and you have a business around it. And, and so I really wanted to celebrate you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because it's hard, right? So welcome to Everyday Leaders. <laughs> welcome to Personal Growth Live. And when we are in personal growth, we're stretching. So thank you. Yes. I do have a question because yeah. I'm the social media person that's like, huh? <laughs> I went to your site and I would love to share it, but it doesn't say live. Uh, beautiful soul, Melanie. Will you go ahead and tell me how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go here and I'm going to share it to your page for you. A friend's timeline. I think you have a, uh, right here, Sonal. There we go. And I am sharing it. Okay. It's on your page now. This is really fun. This is Technical Challenging 101. For all of you that are watching this, we are <laughs> using a service called StreamYard, which I absolutely have fallen in love with because when I stream, I can I can create all kinds of banners for my guest, but also goes to all of my Facebook pages. So you may be watching this on my business page, the 50 and 50 podcast page, the YouTube channel, Melanie Ake, M-E-L-A-H-N-I-A-K-E, -E, or you could be watching this on the Everyday Leaders group page. So there's a lot of ways that you can be finding this. And when it goes live, it just streams directly to those. So what you see in the feed, introducing Sonal and all of her links and, and all of her things that she's been doing to celebrate her, those are on all those channels at the same time. So wherever when you're- when you see this picture here, the people that are watching, like my mom and dad from Cincinnati, woo! Do they just click on the picture and they can hear it? Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes, they can. Technology blows me away. Let me tell you. Technology. <laughs> so you can also, let's just do a little training here. So if you're watching this, you can also start your own watch party. So if you haven't watched it live or you want to share it with other people and start it from the very beginning, that's what the watch party is all about. So um, you know, later in the evening or tomorrow, you want to share it with your friends and you want to start it together. You can share it with other people's pages and say, hey, I'm I am hosting a watch party. Do you want to watch this with me? That's cool. So that's the great thing about this kind of technology. And um, and so here we are. And it's so fun to have you here in this format because you've got so much to teach people, Sonal, so much to teach people. Well, that's my intention, right? So uh, when you when you get the privilege to have uh, the opportunity to start your own business and to step into your passion, um, like I have been able to, and to be invited by amazing people like you to say, here, we're going to give you an opportunity to share your story. Um, that, that's, a, that's a great place to be. It's so fun. Your background is a teacher. Correct. 
Yeah, I taught high school and college for a combination K through 12 for about 17 years. And so what do you think about what's going on now? Your daughter is six years old and you, and, and as a business owner, three years, you know, we say it, it takes five years to be an overnight success. You're right in the middle of yeah. your business and COVID-19 strikes and you have a six-year-old at home. <laughs> what's going on in your life right now? <laughs> You know, a, a lot of great stuff. You know, I've always been that person that's like, let me really try to find a way to make all of this half glass full. And uh, so the, the blessings have been before this, right before this, I was like, God, we need more time. So be careful what you wish for, because all of a sudden it went, oof. And um, it happened with, you know, unfortunately with something that wasn't so positive, but we got time and we got quality time to spend with our core families. You know, unfortunately we can't go out and see, like I miss my parents and my siblings so much, uh, but we did get to spend time with our core family. So I, I have that opportunity to be with my daughter. Um, I have that opportunity to be with my husband, who's an educator as well. And she's doing e-learning, but we're supplementing quite a bit and doing our best, right? We're, we're human doing our best to keep a routine and a schedule um, and make sure that she has what she needs uh, during this difficult time, she's an only child. So she wishes for every day. I wish I had a sibling or a dog or a cousin nearby, or if I could just walk and visit someone. So um, she's a beautiful soul. She's very high energy and full of energy. So just like her mom, me it, as an extrovert, it's been a little bit of a beautiful challenge. Um, but the joy and glory in that is there's so many moments we've been able to capture and I'm taking a lot of pictures and videos and then I'm going to create a COVID kind of photo album later to see and show all the things that we were able to do together that we wouldn't have been able to do if we weren't forced to be home and stay home, if that makes sense. So that, that's, and, and don't get me wrong, parents out there, um, it's a lot, you know, when you're, when you're working and then your spouse is working and you're juggling all of that to make sure that your child feels heard and feel valued and feels important and special, it's, it's important. It's a great juggle for all of us. It is a great juggle. And, yeah. and so your husband is an educator, you as an educator being forced to kind of recognize that you already have strengths that you can lean back on for, you know, the the compassion that you have for other parents that have never done this, have never stepped into this and had to teach their kids, right? They may have professions that they have to be responsible to now at home. How are you figuring out how to stretch yourself during this time? You know, it, it, that's a really great question because I'm going to be, you know, we always talk about being authentic and honest and authentically it's a stretch every morning when I wake up the juggle of, am I a good enough mom? Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? Is this the right content? Uh, did I pull some the right examples off of you know the internet when I'm trying to give her assignments? And I'm going to be very honest. My husband is amazing with his age group. This is his specialty area. So I did high school. So that was a little bit easier for me at that time. But those are some of the stretches I'm doing every day. It's really stretching out of my comfort zone and with the business. You know, you like you said, this June will be three years. I had all 16 or 17 of my gigs canceled. This is that time, right? That key time. And I have a lot of voices around me, a lot of people giving me feedback saying, maybe you should just take a break, just take a break and just focus on your family. And, and part of my brain and soul is like, how do you do that when you're an entrepreneur and you just started a momentum? Mm -hmm. What does that look like and feel like if you pull back right now? And so I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm saying, I don't know. And like every other small business out there, I'm figuring it out as I'm going along. And as I encourage other people in stretches that are uncomfortable for them, even if you don't know, keep moving. Just stay in action and, and continue that movement, no matter what that stretch is that you're, you're approaching, whether mine is juggling business with you know, my, my family at home. Um, and how do I keep my business alive? Or does it my business end up closing doors? Lots of questions that so many people have out there and those that get to keep their jobs. How do I get to uh, work from home all day and take care of my family? You know, so whatever the stretch is and you don't have the answers, know that this is new for everyone. And that's why they're saying we're in it together, because if we're patient together, we'll figure it out together. And as we make mistakes or fail, however people want to perceive it, we'll learn from that 
to create the next step. And that's where I really believe stretching is so critical and so important to um, really emphasize the value of a stretch and sticking with it. Mm -hmm. Well, in one of my books, so I'm a leadership coach, and one of my books that I follow is The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. And in the chapter that talks about stretching, there's such a great quote because it talks about the tension that we must keep in our life to mm -hmm. stretch. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to be faced up against something that's really difficult to push us outside of our limits. And so many people may say, well, I've gotten really accustomed to this. I do virtual training all the time. I This really didn't change my life very much, right? Yeah. I worked from home. But yeah. there is a component to every single person in the world. Like you just can't go and have a release. You can't just go out with your friends. You just can't go to a movie. You just can't go out to eat, right? Into a restaurant and meet your friends and socialize. There is something that's changed that you have to think of differently in these times because what that is, is how you're going to show up next. Absolutely. And, and that's where it's the creative part, right? And for you, you yeah. actually design something that is unique in a space today that yeah. you're going to be able to share with people. And I'm so excited to talk about it. <laughs> It's, you know, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. I'm not used to wearing these headsets. But I'm so sorry. But um, it, it's, it, you know, in this time, in this gap of time where, you know, I was sitting here having the opportunity to think, okay, I am always open. When I started teaching at 21, 22, the, and everyone knows this quote, the most consistent thing in life is change. And I learned right then and there when I did my Stephen Covey training that um, my strength and gift ended up being flexibility. There's change. All right, bring it on. Let's see what we're going to do and navigate. And I think I took that for granted and didn't realize how many other people didn't know how to do that. And so therefore, in the fourth reinvention of my career happened because I was open to anytime something happened, a layoff or whatever it looked like. OK, how do we pivot, shift and create something different? And when someone told me you make that look so easy is when I realized as I coach others, if it feels that easy to you, maybe that's your gift. Mm -hmm. And that's what you get to spend time in. And so with that being said, I was like, OK, so I'm working with organizations in corporate settings a lot. And I often get the question, you know, how do I tell my people I value them? You know, I'm always telling you if your people at your organizations don't feel like they matter, no matter how much money you throw at them or um, I mean, we all love that, but of course, but money or time off or whatever that looks like, it's going to be short lived. How do they feel like they're valued? And it's by telling them that they're valued and do it on time. And so one of the things I thought about when I was here at home in the last couple of months is why don't I help them and give them a tool? Now, one of the things um, my nickname has always been sunshine is always telling everybody, oh, hi, beautiful. Or how are you doing? And people are like, how do you compliment people so easily? And I'm like, I, I didn't know it was difficult. So, okay. Well, if that's the case with some research and some time, Melanie, I interviewed or I just kept listening to so many people saying, if you're an introvert and you're a leader and you have a team of so many people, what do you want to say to them that you're having a hard time saying? And as the last year came along, I collected all of that feedback in those notes and I put them together and I'm going to show you, and they're on my website too, but then I made what I call stretch cards. And they are a deck of cards, and this, and they're called value cards, right? So it's my true you value cards, and you get a deck of, you can tell I don't know where the camera is, <laughs> you, get a, you get a deck of 30. So it really comes with a challenge. And what I've done then, Melanie, is every single card has a leadership category that says things like, I value that. Even in challenging moments, I see you show up. How awesome would it be? And the back says, you are celebrated. Mm -hmm. And you get a deck of 30 unique phrases like that. I d d like separated out into leadership categories that I've created that I, I'm not, I don't know what they are out there. And so each person will also even get this how to use card that tells them how they can use these. And it just basically talks about, um, if I may, I don't know what kind of time we have. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. I was going to bring it up on the screen too for you, but I want to give you, you can show everything and then I'm going to show your website for you. Okay. It basically says celebrate your people because even the simplest of things get to be celebrated. There are 30 cards in this deck. 
We at True You love to stretch. What are you doing to stretch into your power and help others to stretch, right? How can you celebrate your people and let them know that you recognize and appreciate their hard work, their commitment, and their loyalty to delivering high quality results? You do it by passing out these cards. And in this day and time, if you're not with them, how awesome would it be to drop it in the mailbox and someone get one of these in the mail going, oh my God, I'm remembered, I'm valued. Remind your people why they matter and the impact that they are making. So I encourage you to set this challenge, stretch and step into your power as a leader and remind everyone else that they are leaders too, regardless of their title, they matter. Hmm. Think when you take the time as an organizational leader of any any type of organization and you take that time to do it. A lot of people, some of it is intuitive for them. Awesome. You know, and some people are like, I know I want to say something. I just don't know how, Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how it's going to be received. That person's an introvert. They don't like getting stuff. They feel uncomfortable. And so by with my background with Myers-Briggs and just emotional intelligence, it was just a great way of crafting a tool to be able to give them, you know, give people the opportunity to pass them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's incredible. There are so many things that people say, like, you know, sunshine notes or happy notes or things that you can like leave in somebody's office if you're there with them personally. But these are great because if an owner of a business as a small business and they buy a deck of these cards and they can just literally take one out, sign it, put it inside of another card you know, let them know how they're feeling through all this COVID-19. Now, some of us in Indianapolis here are going to go back to to maybe some some work, somewhat sense of work, what that would be uh, mm-hmm. for the next couple of weeks. So how great would it be if they could get those today? And before you show up, you know, back into your normal environment, if you could do this for somebody, how that would make you feel, how it would make them feel included and appreciated. Yeah, I agree. And it, it is like the, it's we're going to have a new normal, right? You know, the people are going to still be coming places, but they're going to still be keeping somewhat of a distance. So I, I, you know, I thought about that when I created these and I thought, well, you know what? Again, like you said, you can mail them. You can put them in an envelope and leave it behind. I'm not sure if I gave it to you, but I have um, I'm partnering with my thinking partner, Aisha Cargyle, who's also one of the authors in the book. And we designed colorful bosses card. Now, those that's a different set, a different deck of cards. So not to confuse the audience, but the value cards are really about giving them to organization and leaders to pass out to team members, employees, people within that within that space. And then I thought I was at Target one day and I this girl, I mean, she was just stunning. And I went, you are beautiful. And she goes, what do you mean by that? <laughs> And I thought, you're stunning. She goes, no one has ever taken the time to say that. And she looked at me, she goes, I've always wanted to say a compliment to another like stranger, but I was uncomfortable. So thank you for giving me the permission to do that. And I went, wow. So Aisha and I got together and we have Colorful Bosses, which is a whole different website. And what these are is this is for the everyday person. These cards are compliment cards that we designed that you can give to a stranger. You can leave it by the coffee machine at your house or at your work. You can give it to anybody because the quotes on those, and there are um, 25 in a deck. The quotes in those, Melanie, are ones that, you know, you make babies smile or I love your style. Things like that, that you may not give necessarily at at a professional setting. But can you imagine passing those out? The thing I really love about that, and she's going to kill me for saying this, but I'm going to say it, is the one side are the quotes that I came up with because I'm the quote junkie. <laughs> Other side are all of Aisha's paintings. Oh, wow. So she's an artist. So I think I gave you, I don't know if I gave you that website, but she's an artist and an amazing artist. And so we took, she took all of her paintings and we, you know, did all the things that need to be done. And there on the back of every card has a unique painting of hers. And on the front of every card is a compliment. And so what's cool about that for the audiences who want to purchase those, they can buy a deck. So a deck of, I think 25 is like 20 bucks, or they can do a la carte and pick whatever quotes they love the most. Wow. And so what's that website, Sonal? I'm going to go ahead and put that on here on the banner. So the website for my cards you have is my website. The value cards are on the true you value, the have you stretch today.com. The colorful bosses cards are on colorful bosses.com. And um, 
she did craft and create those. They're also amazing. And so both of those, um, I just launched on uh, social media, um, the value cards, and I'm getting ready to launch these. They are ready to go. Um, and I'm pretty excited about it. So all of you small business owners out there or just you know regular people like me out there that are you have a thought, when I talk about stretching, it's really about I have an idea. And once upon a time, Melanie, I used to say, oh, it's not perfect. It has to look like this. It has to look like this. I have to have this. And I have beautiful people in my life that keep saying, Sonal, just do it. Just press the button. You know, just record that recording. Don't worry what your face looks like. Or um, you have this idea, just implement it. Don't worry about, do I have everything and all the resources and everything I need? Oh, I, I'm going to wait until. No, just step into it. So I'm going to promise everyone that this is round one. It may not be perfect. People are giving us feedback. They're loving it. Some people are like, oh, I would love to have. Hey, this is a process, right? And <clears throat> I want to show up for all those other people out there that are just like me and us, you know, that have that little bit of fear. Are my doors going to stay open for my business? What can I do? These are stretches for everyone today, every single one of us. And what I did want to say, and I don't know if you're going to ask this, so I'll, maybe I should wait for you to ask me what stretch stands for. Do you want to ask me that? <laughs> that was my next thing. I was going to put it up there, but go ahead, because this is all about stretching and people yeah. that are saying, oh, well, I'm not exercising. I'm doing, is that what it means? No. It means mentally, right? Yeah. Doing something different. So tell us, what is the acronym STRETCH ME? So this came for me in a, dream, in a dream I had the day before I was getting panic attacks about not wanting to be in my job. And I woke up and I said, have I stretched today? And I'm like, oh, I don't feel like doing it. I'm like, no, have I stretched out of my comfort zone? Did I make a decision and a choice to step into something that's making my stomach hurt? making me sweat, making me feel icky to my bed, but I know I need to do it, but I'm afraid to do it. That's a stretch. And so I decided at that moment, uh, Melanie, that was two and a half years ago. That's when I started the business. I'm like, I need to speak into that because I could promise you there's so many of us out there in that same space. So that's what I thought. Well, S, because I love emotional intelligence so much and the components of that, the S for stretch, the first letter of S, um, the first letter of S, whoa, that's real. The letter S for the word stretch, I have standing for self-awareness. What do you need? What is it that you're experiencing and feeling? What do you want? Step into your self-awareness of what's going on mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, right? And then there's the first T in stretch, which is tone. What tone are you going to choose? Which is similar to what attitude will you choose when you step into your stretch? Whether it's weight loss, whether it's I want to start this or whether it's I want to do that. What's the tone and attitude? Are you going to choose it and say, this is really hard. I hate this. Or are you going to be like, no, I chose this. So I'm going to approach it with everything I've got. Right. The R then is reflect on what's needed. Huh? What do I need if I really want to push through and make this stretch happen? So for me, my stretch was, I don't know about you, everyone out there, but when I get into high chaos mode like this, I get into, I got to do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. And my checklist gets huge. Mm -hmm which creates a spiral down for me to go, oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed, right? So that was my self-awareness. My tone and attitude was, hey, Sonal, if you're really gonna approach this, love yourself, be kind to yourself, be okay with where you're at and teach yourself through it. That was my T. My R was reflect on what's needed. What I needed was people around me to collect them and say, hey, hold me accountable. Um, can you help me if I'm going down this spiral again and saying, whoa, time out, stop. You're doing, you're in the doing too much. Step into the being of who you are. Mm -hmm. And then the um, E, S T R E, right? <laughs> the e is engage in new ideas, right? How, what am I open to learning? What am I open to listen to? Who am I willing to listen to? What data can I collect and say, that's a good idea. Hey, that sounds great, but it's not, it's not in my lane. So thank you, but no, thank you. That's part of the process. Engage in new ideas. Right. And then we are at the next T, my favorite one. Take action. You have many. Have you ever, ever met anyone that says, I know, I know I'll do it tomorrow. You know, one day when I'll lose weight, when. Right. Mm -hmm. Do it now. Take action now, even if it's the tiniest, tiniest little step. 
even if it means I'm going to get up five minutes earlier, create that intention and, and goal right in front of you, win that goal, right? So wake up the next day, five minutes earlier and go, oh my God, I could do that. And that feeling of win elevates your momentum and say, what's next? And then make the next and the next take action. Okay. And then the C is for change. It's how are you going to manage that change? Are you going to collect the data? Right. And you're going to lay it out and saying, here's what works. Here's what doesn't work. You know what? I was doing high intensity and then I was in too much pain. So I'm going to go into low intensity aerobics. Yeah. You know what? That's what works. That's what doesn't be thoughtful about that and be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Especially because self doubt gets in the way, push that out and say, maybe I can't work out like my husband does. He's amazing. He's like, he, he, he's crazy. He does everything. Maybe that's not what it has to look like for me. Maybe it could look like this and be okay with that and not be upset about that. And give yourself grace, you, you know? <laughs> absolutely grace. And finally, the H is harness the power. Feel the magic. When you are done with that stretch, I get a lot of people say, wait, so what's the time frame for that stretch? There's, there's no time frame. It depends on what intention you choose and what goal you choose, right? Mm -hmm. it's all, it could be something that you're intending to do for tomorrow. Well, then that whole word stretch, every part of it will happen within the 24 hours. Or it could be something you're saying in five years. So harness the power, embrace it, be with it. And if the power and the magic is it didn't work out, then harness and embrace that. Take what didn't work and craft your next. Because failure is just the beginning of something new. So that's stretching for me. And that's what I want to send to the world. Oh, that's so powerful. It's so powerful. And I want to challenge people, right? Yeah. Find one thing that you're not comfortable doing and just figure out what you're going to do that one step. What's the 1% that you're going to give to change? Absolutely. We've all been forced to do this. This isn't something that we selected, but choose something that's in your control that you can feel like, okay, I can make progress with this. Mm -hmm. So what it may be social media, it may be getting on a call with a friend or a family member on a virtual platform. And everybody's probably zoomed out, which I've heard that term a lot, like, yeah. we're virtually done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm virtually but, done. <laughs> you no, know, but maybe it's going to the park and going for a walk, yeah. right? Or getting on your bike that's in the garage because you just are like, oh, I've been homebound. I can't do anything. Do something that you think, okay, I can do this. This is in my control. You can make your bed, right? <laughs> you can get up and take a shower. <laughs> like yeah. those are really easy things in this in this quarantine. It's really isolating. Just it makes you feel like you have lost all sense of power and control of your life and you haven't. So what you, what you bring is so important for people to just own it, right? Own that process and just do one thing. But you know, what's powerful about what you just said, Melanie is it does make people feel like they can't control anything. And here's what I think is great about it. This is just my person, one little tiny perspective in the world how awesome is that as difficult as it is to have people learn that the answers are from within Ugh. right there. Yes. And this is the power of meditation and yoga. In my opinion is when people say they, they reach for outside of them for all the answers, they forget that they harness the answers and we're so scared to listen to our inner voice. And I'm all about intuition. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I always challenge people, listen to your gut, your gut is God or your, whomever you believe in. But if we take this time and take advantage of this time that we have together with ourselves, we really tap into it. Then we, when we get outside of this into the new norm, we are going to just be like, whoa, I didn't know I was so cool. I didn't know how fun it was to hang out with myself. Because I'll tell you, I'm like everyone else. I don't like to hang out with myself. I'm an extreme extrovert. So in this day and time, it's all the introverts that are calling the extroverts to saying, how you doing? You didn't know, right? Um, because they know how to be within themselves. And so I think, you know, I have a lot of people also saying, I don't know what kind of stretch to create. I'm so used to my comfort zone that I don't know how to think outside the box. And what I say to them is that's okay. So for many reasons, this is why I coach, right? Let me help you get to the next step. If you have a vision or intention, but you have no idea how to set it up for yourself for success, reach out tap into people. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
heck, if you want, reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. But it's, you know, allow the other people in your space. You can simply ask a loved one in your house, hey, what do you think I should do? The other day, my husband's like, you know what? I tell you what, at the last 10 minutes of every call, why don't you get up and do a quick workout? And because he's my husband, I went, what are you trying to say? <laughs> okay. But I knew he was right. And what a simple thing. And I didn't even think of it. I just thought, let me get up, get my water and get to the next call because now we're all on virtual, right? I don't even think to give myself a minute to take a bathroom break or a food break because it's call after call after call. Mm -hmm. Or turn your computer off, turn your phone off, right? Give yourself that allotted time in your schedule. Do your daily agenda just like you would if you were in an office environment or yeah. if you're, you know, usually on the plane. So a lot of my friends, me included, for many years have been flying around the world trying to take care of customers. And so look at all the time that you have now. Mm -hmm. What were you doing on the plane? Were you reading? Were you writing? Were you listening to music? work that back into your day. Like, don't just sit here and say, oh, I've got to find a virtual leadership training summit that's coming on. Like, there's a lot of those going on. And there's a lot of universities that are offering free education right now. You know, you can go down there and download anything and learn a new skill. And mm -hmm. that's, you know, connecting, but stretching yourself to say, mm -hmm. hey, I might have thought about that 40 years ago, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm an empty nester. I just lost my job, right? I'm, I've got kids in college and I'm trying to keep them motivated about what's going to happen and how they're going to be reacting back into the, in society. The kids that are seniors that are thinking, what's the world coming to, right? I don't get to celebrate the way that I wanted to with my friends and the expectations that we have kind of set on our, on our own culture to think that, hey, it can only be done a certain way. You know, I love how people are thinking outside of the box stretching themselves. You know, the seniors, I saw a post, which I loved, and they're creating these adopt a senior on Facebook. I love these ideas. And this, um, you know, and the Speedway is going to have um, the Speedway High School, allow them to come in and have their graduation at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Like, those are things that you don't ever get to experience until something like this happens. And it, it can change your life. Well, and I think you're right, because with this too, think about it. I mean, all of the people in Hollywood and everyone else and the musicians sharing their talent, sharing their time, and we all get to experience it and embrace it. We wouldn't have had this otherwise. So, you know, as horrible and difficult as COVID has been, it's also been a blessing in certain ways of bringing humanity together and showing each of us that we truly can reach out into kindness. And I, I think that's, part of one of the nuggets that allowed me to go, I'm just going to make these cards because it's my way of encouraging people. If you are really struggling with how to support others and set, do something kind, you need that extra tool. Here you go. Not everybody needs it, right? But there's some people who I am very um, okay with saying, it's okay. We all, That's why we all are here together. We all have such beautiful and unique personalities and strengths and gifts. And so when we embrace that and we allow everyone to have the space that they have and not judge them for it, that's, I think, when we are all just prospering. Prospering. I'm mm -hmm. going to show, oh, look, Danola joined us and she gave us some hearts. <laughs> Hi, Danola. She, she's like doing an award banquet or something tonight, I thought. I love her. So you guys, Danola, Danola Burton, I have to give her a little promo right now. If you're wanting to write a book and you need a publisher, Danola Burton is the wonderful person that helped us create this mentoring moments. And it is now up for an author Academy award book. And so there is a link that I don't have on here and I'm sorry that I didn't do that. However, if you will subscribe to my YouTube channel, I did kind of put this in here. So I want you to go to my YouTube channel and anybody that subscribes to the YouTube channel. It's just Melanie Yake. You can find it there. I'm going to give you a signed book and a coffee mug. So the coffee mugs, everyday leaders, 50 and 50. Uh, so I'm trying to build the channel up and I thought what a great way with Sonalon here. We are both in this book, Mentoring Moments, and you need to have it in your um, artillery on your bookshelf. You need to have it because there's yeah. 14 remarkable women Every one of us has a Im really important story to help you with your growth right now.
and and it's um my 50th birthday coming up in a couple of weeks so 50 and 50 I'm yes. uh, <laughs> just saying it's 50 woo and then uh, also if they you I think you're putting my website up there as well I did I do have it on my website to purchase as well if they're interested. It, and the shop page is where they can go. Um, it's haveyoustretchtoday.com or sonalshedsawari.com. But if you go to my shop page, you can either purchase the book or the cards, the, the value cards. And then um, I think, Melanie, you said you're going to post the colorful bosses if they want to purchase the compliment cards. So those are the two different styles. But um, yeah. yeah, yeah. My husband turns 50 next week. I turned 50 two weeks after that. And, it's, uh, and we have a six-year-old. Woohoo! It's cape. You can do it. Any one of you. <laughs> um, I mean, I have gray all over, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> you can do it. This is awesome. So, Noel, this has been wonderful to have you on. I, I want to really have you back uh, anytime that I can help you and promote the things that are going on. Once you see how these cards are engaged in the community and how people are using them, it would be really fun. I can bring three people on here. We can do some testimonials and really promote those. Cause I think it's going to bring significant value to just your everyday life, people that are in your everyday life. Yeah. And that's, and that's what everyday leaders do. Yeah. I want everyone to go out there and just be them and step into their power and whatever shape or form it looks like for you, be kind, you know, re lend a hand, uh, be, a, be available to others as they are to you and uh, just show up in this world. It's a wonderful message. Friend, thank you. I love you. Thank you for coming on tonight and learning how to do live streaming. Yeah, I, I will. You're going to be my podcast producer. Trust hey, me. You stretched yourself today. I'm proud of you. I so <laughs> did. You don't even know. <laughs> That's what this is about. This is a great lesson. <laughs> I'm a stretcher. I'm a stretcher. <laughs> All right. You heard it here live. Sonal stretch today. <laughs> I, did. I stretch every day. Trust me out there. Every moment. You can even ask my husband and daughter. And, oh, I do really quickly because yeah. I'm turning 50. They're going to teach me how to ride a bike. So that's going to be another stretch for me. And so there's a lot of things I get to learn when the pools open up again. I'll figure out how to really swim. I mean, there's lots of, dude, there's lots of things. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. I want you to come back. You're always welcome. You're a friend of everyday leaders and you are going to go change the world. So keep doing it. Keep running your business. This is just, you know, this is one of those things that we got to get through. But uh, keep at it, girl, because people need you out there. Thank you, sweetie. I really appreciate you and, your, and the time and energy that you gifted me. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Have a great night. Uh, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Take care of yourself. You too. All right. Bye.